Hi, I'm Joe, and today we're going to talk about Python if statements. If statements are used to do comparisons and make decisions in a program. The standard if statement consists of the word if plus a Boolean expression, which yields either a true or false result, a semicolon, followed by one or more execution statements, and then an optional ELIF and ELSE statements. So a simple IF statement, if x is true, print hello world. Proper indentation is critical, as with everything in Python. Indentation is, is really important. Uh, so if the indentation is not consistent and uh, correct, then the IF statement is not going to work. So everything you want to execute, if the if statement is true, has to be indented the same amount. Uh, and then in this example here, if a equals equals b, print equal, a plus equals 1, b equals a plus 5. These three statements will all three execute if the if statement is correct, if, if it's true. Every if statement can stand alone, or it can be followed by any number of ELIF statements, zero or more, and it can have up to one ELSE statement. So here's an example where we have if x is 1, print A, ELIF, x is 2, print B, ELIF, x is 3, print C. Now this could go on as many ELIFs as we like. Uh, but you can only have one else at the very end, and here we have an else, print ABC. The Boolean expression must evaluate to true or false. That's the definition of a Boolean expression. It can only have two values, true or false. Most often statements use comparison operators. So equals, not equals, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than, or equal to. You should already be familiar with these, hopefully. In Python, Boolean evaluation of integers works like this. Zero evaluates to false. Every other integer evaluates to true. So negative one evaluates to true. A million evaluates to true. Zero evaluates to false. So if zero do something, the do something is never going to happen because zero is uh, returns a false. If 57, okay, so 57 evaluates to true because it's a, a integer, a non-zero integer. X equals three. If X do something, so if you say if X and X is equal to three, then that if statement is going to evaluate to true. The boolean returns a true. The if will execute. All character strings evaluate to true, except for an empty string, which is false. So if you say if cat, that's going to evaluate to true. If empty quotes is going to evaluate to false. Or if you say x equals cat, if x, x is equal to cat, so it's going to evaluate to true. So any string that has a non-empty string is going to evaluate to true. You can also do comparisons between strings using the comparison operators. So for example, if ball is less than cat, this is going to return true because b is less than c. It's going to compare one character at a time starting from the leftmost most character. If cars is less than cabs, this returns false because it'll compare C to C, it'll compare A to A, and then it compares R to B, and then it's going to return false because R is greater than B. So you can have comparison of strings, or you can just say if a string is non-empty. Now these are all valid if statements. If true, that's always going to evaluate to true because true is always true. If Bob, 
evaluates to true, a non-empty string. If pair of empty quotes evaluates to false, as we already said. If zero evaluates to false. If two is greater than three, obviously it's going to evaluate to false. If foo equals equals foo evaluates to true because the two strings are exactly the same. And if x is greater than or equal to 85. So this will compare x to 85. It will return true if x is greater than or equal to 85. So this is what the if statement does. It's going to, x is going to, it's going to calculate the Boolean expression and return either true or false. If it's true, the if statement will execute. And if not, what's inside the if will be skipped. You can add two or more conditions using AND or OR. For example, if x is greater than 5 and y is less than or equal to 0, print true. In this case, since we use the AND operator, if both of those conditions are not met, it will not print true. You can use parentheses if you want to use three or more conditions to avoid confusing results. Now it's not really clear in this statement exactly what we're trying to do. If x is less than 0 or x is greater than 0 and x mod 2 is equal to 0. So when you put parentheses around it, it becomes a lot clearer. The first statement is equivalent to this statement. So if x is negative or x is positive, and even, then execute what's inside the if statement. So that's a clearer way to write it. Use parentheses if you want to use multiple AND and OR operators inside an if statement. You can use NOT to negate a result. So if x and NOT y is going to evaluate to true when x is true and y is false. So basically it just negates the y result. If not, x dot is even. So we're assuming here we have a, a function that we can call is even uh, for x. And if x actually is even, we're going to negate that and it's going to return false. Uh, and when it, x is odd, it's going to return true. So the opposite of what it would do without the not. So in general, uh, some applications of if statements. Here's an example number one. We're going to determine if a number x is even or odd. If x mod 2 equals equals 0, print x is even. Else, print x is odd. So here we have an if, else, with no elifs at all. We don't need any elifs here. Example two. Customer name is stored in a variable called name. And if this variable name is an empty string, then we want to ask the user to enter his name. So we can simply say if not name. And the, way we're able, the reason we're able to do that is because if name is an empty string, it will return false. If name is anything other than an empty name, it will return true. And then we use the not operator to negate that. So if there's nothing in name, it would return false. And then we negate that and it returns true. So it'll execute the name equals input, enter your name, right? This is going to let the user enter his name if name is empty. So this is a simple way to do that. And a third example, we can sort two numbers. If x is less than or equal to y, print x and then y. Else, print y and then x. So that concludes our lesson on Python if, elif, else statements. I'm Joe. Thank you for joining us.